Well, what's going on YouTube? It's time to put the garden in. So, I don't know if you can see, I got uh, some posts out there. Two there, and two there. So that is uh, 20 foot long by 16 foot out. So I'm going to put in a 20 by 16 foot garden. Now, uh, <laughs> we have, you can see it's kind of uneven to the back of the garage here. And I hope you can hear me okay with this wind. Um, we had a guy that was going to come out with, uh, he's got a little bit of a tractor with some attachments for, he was going to come out and till all this for us. And we have some tree roots. Uh, there was a tree somewhere over here that used to be on the property and it actually fell in the garage. This was before I moved in. So the whole back of the garage is newer than the rest of the garage, which is fine. But that tree, the stump is been, uh, the stump wasn't removed. It was just cut low enough to where I can get my tractor over it. And uh, there's a bunch of roots in there. And uh, so we had uh, this guy all figured out and uh, come to find out, man, my wife took off all next week to deal with the garden. He can't get to us. So we may be renting a tiller and doing it ourselves and getting all the roots out. I'm gonna walk over there so I can show you some more details. So as you can see, there's some roots here that are protruding through and God only knows what's below the surface, right? And then we have uh, some more roots here and this is right by the stake, right back here by the garage. So this is uh, stumps here, here, this is all roots actually, roots, roots, and this root is not where the garden is, but this is where the tree used to be, and uh, so all the roots are still here. I know this is going to be a job to get all this ready for a garden, and it's a lot of work, but if we just don't have time now, we got to get stuff in the ground. So we've already started emptying some old soil and stuff in here. And the wife wants to do a square, what is it called? Some kind of a square bed garden. I don't know, I'm not a gardener. And uh, we've been trying to figure out if we wanted to do raised beds and we wanted to try to figure out walkways and, you know, I wanted to put wood down for walkways, but they're saying don't use pressure treated wood because it will leach, I guess, the formaldehyde or whatever chemicals in the in the pressure treated wood could get into the soil and so if you're going to use regular wood it's going to dilapidate I think over time. Any suggestions guys would uh, definitely be helpful over the next 24 hours when I get this video posted because uh, today is Saturday. I think we're going to start into this on Monday. So yeah, it's going to be going to be fun. So it's time to clean up out here and I've already had a couple fires here in the spring in the outdoor fireplace there and all that needs to get cleaned up and uh, yeah it's just time to clean stuff up but the bulbs come up daffodils they made it up so spring has sprung it's time to get busy getting to work but again guys any uh, any suggestions on the raised bed I think we're going to do like get two by sixes and just make some boxes. We're going to have, uh, I think, six six or eight boxes. I can't remember the layout now. And uh, and maybe we'll just till it where those boxes are going and not mulch in between the boxes. And I don't know. I need to figure it out so we can get this garden thing started. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. As always, if you're not in preparedness, you're preparing to fail. Thanks. Mm -hmm.